Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to it. Oh, M. The M. The M. The M. The M. The M. This is Lorenzo Donati. Hi, Luke guys. K. Hi, guys. Dot D here on the boots with our look. <laughs> we are here because we want to talk a little bit about some of the wacky deck lists. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm a wacky guy. Are you a wacky guy? I'm too. You are as well. As well. Wacky guy. Um, there are some wacky guys here at ELM as well, including maybe the wackiest guy ever. The Preslov. Preslov Crosshair. I know him. I know him. To you be know honest, him. I know him. Yeah, he's a wonder player who regularly uh, plays in uh, Germany. Okay. With us uh, in the Bot series. So I'm, I'm quite proud, proud of you, to, uh, proud of him, to be honest. Yes. Uh, he managed to qualify thanks to uh, the Bot Rock Leagues uh, the, over there in Germany. Very good. And uh, he managed to do a uh, uh, top eight here in full season, just uh, top eight here in full season with a record of seven seven zero, if I don't remember wrong. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. So he's he's not just mad, he's also good. He is mad also good. good. Mad good, so mad good. I've, mad I found good. his record now online. Round one, two one. Okay. Round two, two oh. Okay. Round three, still awaiting his result. So we may have a 3-0 player mm, here. 3-0 okay. okay. on P.O. Okay. On P.O. <laughs> uh, and so, he's, he's, a guy, he's a guy, I know him, I I knew him for the first time. He was playing like uh, four color control or something like that. But he's not his style. He's well known for the other things. He's a combo player. Well, this is a serious combo. Let's start with the mana base. Yeah. And a lot of... Combo deck start with this mana base now. Four copies of Urza Saga, two copies of City of Traitors, mm -hmm. three copies of Ancient Tomb. Mm -hmm. Just a bit mad from here. If and that wasn't could, already mad. Could, you could think that this, that, that this deck could be uh, eight cast. It could be eight cast from it here. And eight eight cast. two Seat of the Synod in there, Synod. Mm -hmm. And then one basic island, presumably for like Besteju, yeah. uh, okay. Sword to Plashes, and really, Path to Exile doesn't really got anymore. And then four copies of. That's the least, guys. Seagate Restoration. So that's yeah. the mana base. That's the mana base. Basically, there are 16, like, lands plus mm -hmm. eight zero mana artifacts. Mm -hmm. So we've got four box opal and four lotus petal there. That's... Very impressive beginning. So that, that's the mana base for eight cast, right? We're looking at an eight cast deck. I think if you sit down opposite uh, Presslav in this, you're thinking, my Bowmaster's going to be great. Exactly. But we carry on. The top right hand corner. Do you know the card Paradoxical Outcome? I know it. It's a very well known card for the Vintage. And what does it make? It bounces every artifact on, your, uh, on the plane as as you on, on your side. Yeah, as many as you want. On your side. And you draw, one, you draw one card for each artifact, you bounce it. Yes. It means what is the play? The play is you bounce your own artifacts and then you can draw so many cards. Naturally, naturally, you, we see we can see that he plays uh, one ring two. That means that's a card advantage engineer uh, engine engine engine. And naturally, it's a little bit curious. The, the deck is a little bit curious because you are choosing this deck in a arch ball master meta. Yeah, and then you have a lot of card advantage, but at the same time, you don't have too many interaction. At least yeah. main deck except uh, uh, uh spell bomb. So I two. think well, let's go for the rest of the deck list. So yeah, sorry. Four sorry. Grim Monolith, sorry. a Passes Oracle to win the game, and Urza to try and um, push your advantage. There's four Force of Will and two Metallic Rebuke, backing up a blue package which includes four Paradoxical Outcome and a Repeal, which is your main deck answer to a lot of these things. And add a spell bomb too. And a spell, but a few Urza Saga targets, including no. a spell bomb. No. So game one. I think it's safe to say your plan is do the thing as best as you can, as fast as you can, and hope your opponent can't deal with it. Exactly. Yeah. So you are playing as fast as you can. Yep. You are trying to kill the opponents without giving him the opportunity to answer back. I think when I, uh, if I know Presla very well, to be honest, I think that he tries to close the game until round three, round two. Okay. And I think what the way we're trying to win, right, is play out lots of artifacts, pick them all up again, draw lots of cards, exactly. and play Thassa's Oracle with exactly. no cards in library. Exactly. Or as few as I possible. think so, I think so. I, um, I have uh, seen a couple of times the deck online, um, and I saw that the Preslav 
was snipering the creator of the dead. The dead creator, it oh. was uh, Tony Scapone. Okay. And uh, he was snapping uh, two, three days ago the deck, and uh, he was convinced. Yeah, uh, I'm, convinced I'm, convinced. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. I'm convinced too. So, I mean, last we, so we talked about game one, and then I think I don't. I don't want to assume, and I'm sure chat will correct me here. Yeah, but I think in game two and three, you expect your opponents to bring in a bit of hate, so you're boarding out some of the fast mana, maybe even yeah. some of the PO, yeah. and you're you're leaning heavily on ring key. And just going exactly, exactly. Draw a few, draw a few, draw a few, draw a few. Yeah. I won't. You can stop me, but you've got to stop me five times. Yep. And yep. Yep. that's a really interesting yep. Yep. line have, for me. For combat you have a bunch of mana. You have a bunch of mana, and you can untap, retap, untap, retap, untap, retap, wherever you want. Uh, and then I think that's game prime. I, I'm not uh, too used to this deck, to be mm. honest. But and um, we didn't know which matchup he found. He found. Uh, but we can we can ask him. Later we on. can imagine. So yeah, we can. I, I suppose we've talked a little bit about how we think the games will play out, and let's th go back for our feature match decks and imagine yep. how this deck might perform yep. against us. So in round one of the feature match, we had Lands versus Maverick. Exactly. Now the Maverick player was playing Spirit Labyrinth, which is quite powerful yep. in, against this yep. deck, obviously. Yep. Yep. In game one, it's very difficult to beat. But it's not the most played cards. No. Uh, Spirit Labyrinth, to be honest. Pretty rare. And De Devon Taxes is quiet, and even in exactly. Devon Taxes lists, it yep. Spirit of the Labyrinth yep. dying to Bowmaster mix. Yep. You know. So we think your matchup there is force their hate piece and go off. Exactly. exactly. Same with lands. Land Same with lands. Now we saw Force of Vigor used to good effect in round one. Uh, force of Vigor very good against this deck, probably. As a sideboard card. Yeah, it's a sideboard card coming in. So you've got, you know. Force of will to beat a force of vigor, basically. Is, is yeah, draw vigor. draw a lot of lists of lands, to be honest, and there is uh, their classic land list with punishing fire or something like that, or the yeah. proper rotation. It doesn't make anything. It doesn't make anything. I mean, in this matchup. So, in, in the, match. ma in the so match round match after that, we had high tide versus. But for, of sorry for yeah, yeah. interrupt you. Uh, there are a lot of version now. Lens is played with sphere or resistance main deck sphere, that's or true. sphere uh, sphere or resistance. Yeah, it could be a now. problem. It, it could be. It could be. It, a problem. It, it depends. It depends because you have a bunch of mana. You do have a bunch of mana. Yeah. A okay. lot of your mana rocks, you know, rely heavily on. Yeah, you, know, you cast. You got to cast them. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but you're so, right. Soul Land deck. You might be able to play through Asphere. Exactly. Especially yeah. Paradox Falcon. It shouldn't be a problem. It yeah. shouldn't be a problem because you have a lot of mana. But it depends. Yeah. And then so you're right. Land Sphere of Resistance very strong. Maverick. Yeah, yeah. Got a Maverick is a is a it's over. a hope and a prayer. Yeah, this yeah, this deck yeah, Maverick yeah, all day long. Yeah. Then and we've got I Cradle Con in the second feature match we had High Tide Marcus Oward versus Cradle Control. The this deck actually isn't that dissimilar from High Tide. It's like play out your mana. No. Wait until your opponent's ready to win, and then <laughs> pick it all up again, play it again, yeah, exactly. <laughs> draw your deck, yeah. play a ring. So yeah, yeah you have ch you, you you only have to, uh, four four fossil fuels. Uh, it's like a combo battle. Yeah, it's like a, it's combo, like battle. a combo battle. I think we have slightly more permission here, but the high tie deck playing um, dress down mm -hmm. is very difficult for this deck to no. be dressed down. No, no I mean uh, in the, it doesn't. It's very unfortunate. No. Um, so we've talked about high tide. We've talked about uh, there are uh, elves. Yes. Uh, we saw elves or the yep. nightmare or nightmare on the streets. Uh, how does it called it? How does the deck called? <laughs> Uh, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, uh, with uh, great uh, kittle, kittle, kittle control or something yeah, like that. Yeah, kittle control. Kittle control. The, yeah. And, um... But the cradle control list had something in the way of hate. Um, with, yeah, which is interesting. Yep. But I still think this deck's pretty good against that deck. So we've talked about a few decks in the meta there. We think yep. Preslav Krasev might have a good chance at doing well at ELM. It's a shame he doesn't want to be on coverage, but we yep. respect that decision. That's absolutely okay. fine. We'll hope Preslav will be in the top eight, though. We'd love to see him there. Um, a little bit later, it, we'll see. Well, I think as it happens, we are just about ready for, for the next round. So the next round. round we, we're sort number... of planning. We're planning the feature match. Yeah. Um, we've got an exciting one for you. Lots of people asking in the chat for... It's the man himself. Mm. Ransack Judah. Is that right? For, oh my I goodness. So. You I, are in. I know him. I know him. Yeah, you know, know him. You know. I know him. I know I know the guy. When I, I, I don't remember wrong, I know the guy. Yeah. And uh, we are gonna switch. Oh well what what do you know about what do you know about Judah? 
Uh, when, I, when I remember wrong, uh, he's a guy who comes from uh, uh, Czech Republic, and um, he's a very young guy. Uh, so like, yeah, something like, yeah. Yeah, something like uh, 16 years old, 18 years old. He, uh, I saw him two, three, four seasons ago uh, losing against uh, Biava in the main event. Um, yeah. In the main event, uh, legacy main event. Yeah. And okay, we are online. Yeah, he's, we are... Look at him. He's playing. Yeah, here's uh, the guy. Black he's Saga the guy. Storm. Here's I'm the going guy. to step off the cast now. I'm going to introduce my best bud, Phil, from the In Response podcast. He's coming back to help Donati with the rest of the round. Thanks, Phil. Okay. Hey. 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 Phil, welcome back. And we are. Uh, so you already... grieved me a little bit. I grieved you. Yeah. yeah no, not grief. You grieved me now. <laughs> I just didn't agree with you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we are in the middle of the game, and um, Yuda. Uh, oh my God. I, I, okay, I cannot pronounce it. The, that, that, the that, name. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, he will forgive me. And against. Uh, we are not against. We're against Marcus Abel. Uh, what? Marcus. This is, this is now Marcus Abel yeah, again Marcus. on high tide, on oh, Mindstar high tide. Um, um, we have already seen him uh, yeah, on, on round the two, screen yeah. on round two with Mind Desire list. How is Mind Desire in the meta? Or what do you think about it? As a, it's at the moment we see only just a bunch of a list from um, uh, from um, Doomsday or High Tide. Uh, they are the only decks here playing Mind Desire. Yeah, Doomsday and High Tide. Uh, I don't think uh, Doomsday plays High uh, Minds Desire, but I'm pretty sure that Tess Whoa. is experimenting with Minds Desire, and also Atnosium Tendrils is, mm. is experimenting. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that Minds Desire will only be um, present in decks like High Tide. Yeah, I think so. I think so as well. I would like to focus you on a play. Because uh, Marcus, Aka, I would like to respond, has uh, our chat told us, uh, is playing a Ponda. It's a quite expensive Ponda. Because um, Yuda played two, not one, but two <laughs> Bowmaster. It means two damage and two extra damage and I put a 4-4. Four, four. Oh yeah, and especially for this kind of deck that uh, Marcus plays, that really relies on... on drawing cards yeah i mean it's blue so for sure it has to yep. draw, draw cards but uh, it's a combo deck you have to build your own yeah your own you combo on the sculpt your hand you sculpt your hand exactly and two pole masters really spell doom here for for the high tide deck i'm unsure i mean he can maybe win this with a uh, timely echoing truth here no 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 but i think he's mono blue i'm i'm unsure what he can do about this besides um, you, you don't you don't have any i think uh marcus he doesn't have any uh pre-board interaction uh, to a board because you want to uh, de develop your things just to go as fast as possible with the combo or a protected combo but i i felt marcus pain yeah <laughs> i felt marcus pain has he uh, has he played a ponda i mean what that hurts oh yeah for sure i mean I'm unsure how, how many life is he he's now on on four oh, he has to go. he has to go for it he has to go for it and and he, he scoops can. it up so he's coming up yeah what do you think about um is, is this is this like a really probably the most lopsided matchup that we have ever seen or was this just a single time occasion actually um i don't know a yuda had a really a really good hand and um a very good as a two ball master two ball ma what, <laughs> yeah. what, what, what do you want to say i mean two ball master is always a good hand with two ball master in against a meta blue for sure yeah yeah against blue for sure but uh and if he knows um if he knows marcus everyone knows from twitter to me uh, at least yeah that he plays art hide or a special version of jess Skydex. Yeah, he plays. Um, oh, it's a saga. Oh, it's a saga with stuff of the story. Tell her, tell her. Spell pills, snapcaster, two fort of uh, fort of fort uh, Erlingus. Erlingus, exactly. I'm quite hyped for the list, to be honest. <laughs> I'm quite hyped for the list, but um, you would have played against blue decks. Oh yeah, for so, sure. So two orcs are quite good. Yeah, and um, so. 
What do you think about the matchup? I mean, uh, we are playing High Tide against Mono Black. Um, we have to admit it, that it's not a Saga Storm. Um, I know him, I know Yuda. Okay. Uh, that's uh, so Mono, so Black, it's... Mono Black Stompy. Okay, so it's an error on, on the... Yeah. We are gonna fix it. Yeah, we're gonna fix it. That's, that's not a problem, problem actually. Because uh, the what's the difference between Mono Black Saga Storm and Mono Black Stompy? You are playing artifacts, you are playing... Um, so the artifact lines in the Saga Storm and um, at Nauzov, uh, if I don't remember wrong. And on the other side, Mono Black Stompy is a Stompy. Yeah, we have, we have seen it with Dotty White Walkers and the Orcish Bone exactly, Masters. Exactly, exactly. But I'm unsure, does he play the. Um, do we, does he play Chalice in his deck? Is yeah, it really a Stompy yeah, deck? Four. Okay, four, four of them. Of chalice. Four, four Chalice, and he's playing Sheldrod. He's playing Heim to Thorak. Oh, him. I'm such a sucker for him. Yeah, that, exactly. that's, the, that's such a nice blast from the past here. Everyone in the uh, in the past played him to Turok yep. in the Death Rite era. Oh my gosh, this was so. I insane. don't know. I don't know if uh, if he plays uh, like the combo um, Leyline of the Void and Helm. We kind of have a look at um, at uh, Judas list, but uh, I don't think that Marcus found uh, a really good matchup to be honest. Yeah, he's got spells, Bow Masters. And Chalice of the Void, he could play Trini Sphere. And we remind you have, that we have a bottom here just to uh, check the list, is, uh, the, the, the player list. Yeah, the list will be in Cardboard Live soon for you guys to check out. But the they, were, they, they were too, 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 too fast. Yeah, they were <laughs> so insanely fast. <laughs> they were fast. so I mean... insanely fast. I mean, <laughs> yeah, double bonus. Like, da like double we said bonus. beforehand. They're... That, that's just the clock that you have that, to recognize. That, 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 that will, well, that pawned their heart. <laughs> yes. That pawned their heart. I would be quite curious just to know how um, how Marcus felt as, a, as he saw two ball master in response to a ponder. We have, mm -hmm. a very, we have a very nice question here um, between the matches. Do you think ball master is healthy for legacy or do you think it spells its doom? I mean, we saw a lot of Doom cards, uh, we saw a lot of uh, strong cards that were banned in the past, uh, were banned in the past, um, but I think that the Wizard will give a little bit of time just to see how the metagame is going, in which, in which direction the metagame is going. Naturally, we had a lot of uh, data that, shown, uh, that uh, showed that Bowmaster was the most played card. In the challenge, yeah, how can the challenge That's true. in the challenge as well? Thanks, guys, for the card, uh, for the hands. Okay, this should be a ley line. <laughs> there should be a ley line. Is that a card that you wanna uh, that you wanna side in against a high tide? I guess, I yeah, you want it because a high because. tide plays the time, uh, four of time spiral, which is basically like a six mana echo of eons, but just for you, yeah, okay, and so it's pretty insane here but Bowmaster also takes care of time spell because you draw the cards exactly so i'm unsure if, that's, if it's needed actually probably you'd uh sided in um uh elm too just to have a fast combo just to have a fast win if you realize that you you, you are not able to win through the board and then you, you want to win out in difficult spot you can finally win yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the chat says. Okay. The okay. We see main two dress downs. One eye tight it should be an eye tight. Uh, brainstorm echo truth. Echo truth just to bounce uh, the, the the permanents, not only ball masters. And um, Lilan is mine. Uh, thanks. Uh, love turn one people. And uh, yeah, it could be uh, obviously uh, um, a main deck. A main yeah. deck. What, what do you think here is the correct pick here with Fortis? Uh, he has I, what, what? What did he has in hand? He I, had land, uh, doughty. To be honest, I, I would take brainstorm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I would take brainstorm. Without, I mean, it's not that strong without the fetch land, but I also think brainstorm. that the brainstorm, brainstorm is the strongest uh, card means, here. Yeah, it it means it's weak, weak. He okay. has to play, he has to we, cycle the dress yeah, okay, yeah, to exactly, find some exactly. cards to exactly. get going, to get this combo to going. And that gives uh, Frantisek enough time to deploy a Bowmaster yep, to yep, find yep, another yep. Um, discard spell 
or to deploy his own combo yep. uh, with a helm of I obedience. Agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. And then the guys are uh, three three zero. That means that we can still not only comments, uh, but we can still play Legacy. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. We took the right pick according to uh, Yuda's decision. So two and Doughty. Doughty is all. It's not that strong here because the. Okay. As you said, Leyland already lies, but it's a, it's at least a shadow free too. It pro yeah. puts on the clock. Yeah, yeah put on the clock at that bar. Let's say at that bar. It, it's a, like a. You are playing combo against that bar, and uh, when you're playing a combo, that bar is your worst enemy. It was, at least it was your yeah. worst enemy, because it gives you a clock, one, one mana blue creature, and that's it. And um. Okay, he's resolving there. Marcus is gonna. He's gonna um, pass the turn. Yeah. And it means uh, the rest of them is gonna. Um, it's gonna go to the grave. It's gonna be exiled. But. Uh, uh, it depends they're, they're, on the. On yeah, the, they're, 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 they're asking the judge if it gets under, under the doughty or not. Because. Uh, you have a dress down, you have a dress down, and um, you have a ley line. It means dress down would, uh, will be exiled anyway. Yeah, but, but here is the question, um, <laughs> because the, the Doughty loses its ability. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it will be exiled for sure, it but... It would be exiled, and it cannot play it. I, opponent, I think... It's opponent chooses, yeah, I can, I can still see this, yeah. Because when it leaves the battlefield, then it suddenly has against mm. uh, again the, the ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is kind of a strange interaction yeah, right strange here. Interaction. But as you said, Marcos was forced to cycle his own dress down. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he didn't play land drop as you said, uh, uh, as you saw, and uh, let's say uh, Yuda made a time walk. It's something like something that. like yeah. something like because Marcus didn't didn't do anything. He could pray. He could. I don't know what he has in the hand. It, is it Two eye tides. Another dress down. I haven't seen the last card. It looked like a white card, but that can't be. That can't it can't be. be can't be. <laughs> it can't be. Oh, what? Well, ah, it's a dress down. Okay. Dress down. That's a dress down from I was ta I was taken back because of the of the artwork right here. It would, be, it would be kind of strange at the at first glance i thought it would be a, a triumph okay. of saint catherine <laughs> and another dress he had to, he had to cycle another one uh, another dress on i mean he has now the time to go off oh, yeah. he tries yeah, it. Yeah, he tries yeah, it. he tries we, we are seeing two mana and, oh, and another high side and another oh. high side. So. and a turnabout Ooh. Turn yeah. <laughs> it means you let's go at the moment, you don't have to care about a bowmaster. You can. Be, you, you can Not right now. No, no, no. I mean, if you go off, you can I, draw whatever you, whatever you want. want. Yeah, exactly. You can draw whatever you want. You, you can go off. With infinite power. Infinite power, exactly. <laughs> we wanna see. We, it's uh -huh. it. Just going through. Okay. Just okay. Just to draw another card. I don't know what's what he has in end. Does he have a man desire? Maybe, maybe. If that would be really strong here. Oh, oh man desire! Man's desire. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six spells. Seven with the man desire itself. Wow. One, two, wow, three, wow, four, wow. five. No, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Uh, six. Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah, it should be yeah. seven. Man desire for seven. Mine is Actually, it's the first time I ever see Mind's Desire resolving. <laughs> Have you seen it already? I, I, uh, I've already seen it. I fell on my screen, to be honest. <laughs> I've already seen it. I played against um, uh, Creativity or something. Special version of Creativity and uh, I fell on my skin. <laughs> uh, you mean the new deck, Mississippi River? The yeah, Mississippi River. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. Maybe we'll see this uh, also to, in today's stream. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. that's GG. Okay, okay. Let's see. 
The interesting thing is that you, you, you don't have to pay the mana. You, have, you don't have to pay the mana, sadly, and you don't have to take, about, take care of Bullmaster. That's an ancestral recall. That's an ancestral recall, yeah. And you have also a turnabout. You can untap turnabout. your lands yep. again. Yep. 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 Untap your lands again and make a lot, a lot of mana. Uh, you, have can... a ma you have a mana chance troll too. Yeah, you find the brain freeze. Yeah, you can keep. Uh, Manchester says uh, sorcery or uh, instant. You can pick. Um, I'm unsure. I think no, it's no, no, only, it's only, only, only instant. Only instant. Sorry, only instant. Yeah, you don't have to shuffle about uh, after every reveal unless your opponent insists on shuffling after yeah. every reveal. You can shortcut it because your deck is. If you shuffle really? beforehand, yeah. it's if randomized. randomized. If you randomized. Okay. Let's see. Brainstorm. And the brainstorm. There, that, for this, he has to pay uh, mana. But you, you, you can freeze. I mean, you can freeze. Yeah, I it's think a, it's, need... it's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult to freeze. How, how many, um, Man Desire? I think five, I think four. No, no, not for Man Desire. How many storm count does he need for uh, a brain uh, freeze? 17 brain or something? Uh, so to be to be lethal to be lethal to be sure at least 20 because they are they are mill three cards yeah but it's it it over 60 and it yeah, was having over cards, six, so it's yeah, 53 53 and I, yeah and i think it's about 17 17 16 for a lethal brain yeah but, but if you have the, if if you had the option you you go for 20 20 spells and just to be sure yeah why not i mean yeah. Just, just playing out the cards and maybe even getting another mind's desire is just um, too nice. Yeah. That that's that's why we love. Naturally, this naturally, you are when, when you're playing. Uh, when when you are when you are in this pot, you're not gonna lose probably. But snap, snap, snap is an awesome card. Snap is a pauper card. Bounce a creature and tap two lands. Yeah. But you are you have eye tight on the stack. Okay, um, he doesn't play um, Brain Freeze, actually. Oh, God. He hope... We are only on, he hope... on Chase, Wheel of Mysteries. He hope that the opponent's gonna, gonna concede. What's the win condition, to be honest? Chase, Wheel of Mysteries. It, it's actually on the battlefield, uh, the battlefield also. Okay. If you would draw a card while lab library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. Oh, okay, nice. Also, oh, something like... Like the, the people playing in the Fort Lash combo. Yeah. That's also. Yeah. It's like. Uh, the um, yeah. There was another card, if I don't remember wrong, that. Uh, Labo. Um, the Maniac. Laboratory Maniac? Yeah, it's actually. Uh, Laboratory Maniac. It was something like that. Yeah, but Laboratory Maniac sa says if you would draw a card when it has no parts in it. Yeah. The, uh, it's basically the same yeah. case, yeah. It's the same. But it's not that. Uh, it's a creature and it can be removed no, more easily no, and no, chase. No. As a planeswalker, oh. it it's means hard to remove. it means he's gonna he's gonna draw the entire the entire deck. Yeah, he will probably with uh, blues and Sinif. Oh, man desire. Or, uh, man, man, desire. man desire. Man desire. You exile the cards as well from the man desire. Yeah, and now he's yeah, he it up. That's... Yeah, okay, okay. He and it's one and one. One on one, and let's see who is gonna take to, uh, game number three. We will take bets now. <laughs> <laughs> we take bets, but but uh, for real. Do you do you um, bet? Do you bet? No, 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 no. But for real, I mean, who do you think is the beat down here in this uh, in this matchup? Who has to play faster, or and who is Yuda. the control deck? Yuda. Yuda. Yuda has to has to play everything. I have, what what he has. And Bullmaster in response or not in response, just slam creature on the battlefield, or 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 naturally uh, stompy elements that can stop uh, Marcus. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm totally on board with you. What do you, uh, we saw? We saw a couple of Ancha against Chalice of the Void, but if Yuda plays Chalice of the Void, it's naturally a little bit harder. Yeah. Yeah. And then we see another but great there are card. No chalices. L like I thought before, uh, there are just for Chromox, the Piffing Needle, Shadow Spear, and Helm of Obedience. They are on the sideboard. Side wow, the yeah. Sideboard, yeah. And I would like to point. Uh, I would like to 
to, 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 to put your attention on our cards main deck cards in the mono black in the mono black uh deck children children so when an opponent draw our cards they love they lose, lose two, two life. life so i mean it does nothing against my sister because you just excel them yeah i know but if you want to draw if you want to draw if you want to draw something you, you, i tax you yeah. yeah i tax you four ball master a uh, one sheldred i tax you yeah okay you want to draw you're gonna pay and also the opposition agent seems really strong against merchant scroll lines exactly exactly, exactly. it's just yeah I exile your i don't know your brainstorm or something is always pretty great he's playing they're searching uh as disruption elements um uh, he's playing Portal size uh, to Eintracht and um, Il I love this Gen card. You you know it? Have you I knew it? it. I knew it. I knew it. That's Ill Gotten Gains. It's basically a combo with uh, Leland of the Void yeah. and with um, Dotty Void Walker. Uh, because you exile it, each player discards their hand and then returns up to three target cards from their graveyard to a hand. And that's basically you mind twist your opponent. You, they discard all the, the cards in exile. Yep. They can't grab anything up, and yep. you just get your best three cards back. Yeah, yep. exactly. So it's like a combo back from the old days. I I think I think uh, he's gonna he, he doesn't play it. I mean he bought it at, he bought he bought it out the cards. Yeah, in, in for the sure matchup. you have to do this in this matchup. Okay. But yeah, like we said beforehand, um, Frantisek has to mull to a fast Voidwalker, to a fast Orkish Bowmaster, yep, no, or no. a Dark Ritual into a position agent also he has, uh, has pretty strong. He has to have um, uh, some kind of pressure yep. in the first yep. two, two, turns, two, two turns, yep. something two, like that. Two turn. He has four uh, He has four opposition agents between main deck and sideboard. It means there are side all side in and at the same time um they are gonna i think they're gonna they're, they're gonna side in um chalice of the void at the same time two opposition agents and one uh, elmo obedience yeah to because Ch chalice although the deck has very, a lot of two uh two mana cards three mana cards four mana cards yeah. six mana cost like my desire yeah. um the crucial thing here is chalice of the void stops high tide yeah, exactly. And exactly. therefore, it's even if it just stops, it would have stopped only this card. It's totally worth it to put four yeah. slots into yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I want to remember the chat that we have the buttons, the buttons on the right and on the left of the player. If you want to see the deck list, they are over there. There is no bot, but there is uh, on cardboard live. Yeah, you just. Click on just the deck. Hover, hover over the over the yeah, magic card packs that on yeah. the left or the right side of the stream, mm -hmm. and then you can see the deck lists. So, um, okay, they started the operation out. You think? Um, ah, okay, that's, that's interesting. That's interesting. That, that's an interesting decision. To be honest, I'm not uh, an ex expert of the deck or the mono black, but um, I would have. I mean it. It makes a little bit sense now that I think about it because, like we said, uh, Frantisek is the aggressor here. He is the beatdown. He has to. Okay. Um, we saw, we saw he has to put pressure on yeah, uh, on yeah. Marcus. So yeah. and a positionation isn't the fastest clock. But you don't have so many so many creature. You have four four ball masters and you have um, four doughty, four ball masters, one shell rod. I don't know. Uh, so Peter Needle, Peter Needle is uh, pretty dead. Pretty dead. Shadow Spear is pretty dead. And uh, I'll get gains to Bezek the Queen. I think it's Besiege the is Besiege it Besiege the Mirror. It's ah, Besiege the Mirror. Besiege the Mirror yeah, isn't yeah, on, yeah, on yeah, Cupboard yeah. Life at the moment. Yeah. So Besiege the Mirror. Uh, yeah. Maybe we will see now a Besiege the Mirror line. Yeah, yeah, could be. But what would you take? It depends what you have on the board naturally but it could be an option just to combo out with ley line on the void or to take an elm with a with yeah. a besiege then you can sacrifice an artifact a creature 
artifact creature or uh, no it's artifact token and enchantment okay artifact uh, token and enchantment you can sacrifice your own orge yeah the, the orc token army, yeah. the token or you can um sacrifice your own um artifact lands yeah the vault of whispers yeah or chrome or, or, or chrome marks or a construct that you made with yep. um exactly. with saga and then we have a turn zero leyline turn zero leyline and it makes it really interesting because we have now That's everything the yeah there we have everything set up for a besiege the mirror line yep. Yep. and maybe we see some uh dark ritual uh dark ritual ritual forties yeah into besiege the mirror in the besiege the mirror yeah and into and helm and win yeah yeah you can sacrifice and you can uh, uh you can sacrifice your own um your own artifact lines and you yeah, can yeah, you, you can play play yeah exactly any no no i mean you can play directly the the the, the elm yeah and go for it yeah that's true and he put the besiege the mirror onto the chrome mark so maybe we'll see this line right now oh he's going for it oh wow and the past in the past okay that has okay to be okay that the has to that, be counter that's a that 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 that's a mass counter i wouldn't have thought that i've seen ill-gotten gains on stream uh, on round uh, four of the european legacy masters but, but that's insane that's insane that that's the beauty of these formats to be honest you can uh besiege are probably proxies because this event is proxy friendly yeah 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 i think so and uh Yuda hoped or well, is hoping that marcus has no force no of will, force of will in the hands oh. and oh, there God. isn't a force of will and he gets four oh, master, and back, he in hand. Four master back oh that's insane that's um, really insane. That's really insane. That's a discard oh, seven. Oh, oh. Discard seven. Oh. And I'm back, and the the of the back of the oh. Oh, oh, from the top. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. Okay, brainstorm. He knew the cards. Maybe finds an echoing proof now that gives him one more room. And boy, oh, that's insane. That's, that's game. insane. That's game. That's game. That's game. That's game. I, oh. It was actually a great, great play here with Philgotten Gains. And That's he had all the time with with four master, but ripping off the helm of obedience here sealed the deal. So great, but uh, to, uh, to be honest, this, I've never seen something like that before. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, the first time that I, that that I've seen something like that. I mean, that boy. I mean, I, I love it. I love the fact that you can play these. I don't want to say janky combos, but combos from the past that were once really great. Um, that was great. That that was insane. that was once really great. That um, was insane. Format staples. Yeah, format staples. Yeah. yeah. Back yeah. in the day, because Ill-Gotten Gains was a format staple because it was played alongside in uh, alongside LED and Infernal yeah. Tutor in the Storm decks. Yeah, exactly. Of all time. Exactly. 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 Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's not that's not Saga Storm. We just took the deck names uh, from from Melee, and unfortunately, on Melee it was. Um, well, yeah. Mono Black Saga Storm. Yeah, thanks, Jax. Uh, thanks, Jax. Jax uh, is the combo specialist. Then, oh yeah, if you touch him, the to the combo no, no. is gonna is gonna suddenly let you know that it's not the combo that you're meaning. Yeah, the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed here is that we haven't seen a Besiege the Mirror line. I was so hyped to see Besiege the Mirror and but Phil, To be honest, we saw a great play. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We, we I, saw I, a great play. I've never right, seen something right. like that before and wow, that, that was insane that was insane that was hyped yeah, yeah that made my day that, that made my day opinion also the ill-gotten Ill gains resolving against the mono blue deck with leyland on the battlefield was just chef's kiss yeah 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 something like oh like, like the italian dude like yeah. the italian dude yeah i mean that that, that was insane that was insane so we have uh, 20 minutes left and um do we have another um, let's see if we have another Backup match for you. Backup match uh, for you. And um... in the meantime, we can talk a little bit about uh, the usual contenders. I think. Um, what do you think about the blue black scam deck? Because it's uh, practically everywhere in the room. Yeah. We we we. So, do we want to have a look at the meta game of the game uh, of the room? Um, we 
can do it just have but anyway we 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 are, we saw a lot of um ubis come yeah uh, that's good. who players are playing it yeah they are they are all all are pro players here because that's that's an, european legacy masters that's european because legacy masters there's not a single bad player in this yes, room exactly but Mengucci is going to play it Tassone is going to play it and uh Petruzzella is going to play it I know, I know only the Italians. Yes. <laughs> I know only the Italians who are going to play the deck. Uh, Mark, Matteo Blasi, and then there are, uh, there are a lot of shadows. Yeah, there are a lot shadows. of shadows, a lot of scam, a lot of trolls, mm. and a lot of bowmasters. And a lot of bowmasters. I have to be honest, um, it's, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare for me because so, I, I'm playing Cephalic Breakfast. Yeah. So it's, we are it's having now the meta game of the European Legacy Masters 2023. 2023. For you to look at. So we have 10 Demir Midrange. So Demir Midrange is basically. Um, what is it? There is it. Uh, okay, okay. Demir Midrange is basically uh, the most played deck in the room with no. 10 copies. No. Demir uh, out of 102 players. I'm pretty, no. No. pretty sure. Yeah. No. 10%, to be honest. 10%. Yeah, about 10%. 10%. Uh, it's just blue black scam or demon bridge however you I want mean to we call have it. uh we have uh 10 ubi scam and uh four uh death shadow it means 14 decks who is playing just ubi yeah ubi and um and i find it interesting that uh after um blue black scam Trixis delva and initiative which is which was um, very underestimated all the time. Yep. I, I think after a ban Red Plume Adventure for a Five Plume Adventurer, mm -hmm. yeah, Initiative uh, won some uh, won some tournaments, but no one really, in my opinion, cares about it really. No, no, it, me too. Me neither. Sorry, me neither. Me but, neither. But we have... But it works. It works. Yeah. I mean, uh, they change it a little bit the main, and uh, they are playing their red white version. This most players. And uh, I would like to remind you that uh, Rodrigo Togores uh, made top eight in the last four seasons on two, four seasons ago with um, Boris Initiative. Boris Initiative yeah. without naturally without um, without the the, the, the three drop um, initiative uh, white uh, without blue white plume adventurer. Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, without the cards, without, without the advent the plume. And so we it, it's still there. Yeah, and. What I find really interesting is the five Doomsday. Because uh, I haven't thought that the Doomsday will be uh that has that much of a meta share. Yeah. And um Yeah, the deck is um the, the Doomsday to me is is a good deck. It's a good deck. Uh, to be honest, I spoke a little bit with Mark Tobias, he's uh an expert of the deck. And I'm playing, I was playing, I'm playing, I was playing Cephalic Breakfast, and it could be the big brother, the big brother of Cephalic Breakfast. Uh, Doomsday is still a deck. I mean, yeah. if you properly play it, it's to me, and uh, to me, it's the best combo deck in the room. And but I don't think this will hold up over time, because the new elephant in the room is Besiege. The mirror. Besiege the mirror. Besiege the mirror, like we already uh, saw here from Frantisek. Yep. Um, Besiege the mirror. Uh, this, is, this is the first tournament, the first legacy tournament, yep. I think, in the world. Yeah. Where where, 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 where the dream cards are legal. Are legal. Yeah. And legal. So, um, yeah, checks. Do, this do, is probably do, one of the most prominent um, people who are driving this. Uh, this archetype, this whole card, yeah. and this deck forward. Yeah. H have you seen his lines on Twitter? I saw a little bit, and I know that uh, Menguchi played uh, something up uh, Ubi, Ubi something with uh, with the new cards with Besiege, with Besiege of the Mirror, and uh, I don't know how he uh, how he did to be honest, but there was an hype. With the cards now uh, and naturally there are new cards the the player wanna try wanna test new cards but it fits quite good in the deck in the deck that we saw before i mean in the judas deck yeah he's sure. four, uh, four four zero four zero now yeah four zero it means 
he could ID, ID, and he made top eight. Or not? Okay, really? I think so. When, when... I think we have about eight rounds. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, but... Or something. Uh, or something. something. You're, 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 we will you're check right. this. We'll check this. I'm unsure at the moment. Um, but I, you're I'm... right, you're right. Sorry, we're at uh, 100 player. <laughs> yeah, we're 102 players. We're 102 player. We're 102 player. We are 102 player. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot about it. <laughs> um, so, and a big tournament is. Oh yeah, and only with the best of the best. Yeah, one of the best. The whole of Europe. And uh, going back to Besiege, you know what's all, also pretty great of, with Besiege Mirror? Mm -hmm. It finds you the one ring. The one ring. Exactly. And it lets you cast the one ring for free. For free. So and you can <laughs> draw and you can draw again and sacrifice the one ring get your next one ring so okay. there's just so much room to ring explore. ring into ring ring into yeah. ring so oh. besiege your mirror isn't only a storm or, or a combo card it's also it can also be deployed as an as a more, more fair card yep, to yep. find your uh, to find the ring yep, yep. and naturally um you have to pay for it requires a uh, specific mana it requires a quite specific mana. You have, to have, you have to pay one colorless mana plus three black. It means you're right. I agree with you. But I suppose it will be played mostly in storm decks or stompy yeah, decks or mono blacks decks where naturally you have access to uh, three black mana. Three black mana. It means that ritual too. Yeah. Or cover ritual. Let's see. Okay, so guys, um, that was it for round four. We have to thank our sponsors, Bose MTG, Card Market, uh, Ultimate Guard, Free for One Trading, and for sure, in response, a Legacy Podcast. I hope I haven't forget anything. And also for Seasons Tournament, for sure. Yeah, Bugs are for Moxes. Uh, every... Bugs are boxes, yeah. Uh, that's boxes true. Every... Okay, and Bose MTG. And Gianluca. Gianluca, yeah. Gianluca, yeah. And, and our Gianluca. <laughs> so tune in for the next round, and we'll take a short break. Yeah.